Hi everybody, it's Olivia Blanchard, the Brand Builder again, and today we're not going to talk about social media ROI. Uh, we'll get back to that in a, in a little bit. We're, what I want to talk to you guys about is the evolution of the uh, social media expert BS uh, in the last year and, and where it's going next. So if, if you look back at the, the whole social media gold rush that's been kind of developing over the last year, um, you'll find that about eight months ago when everybody caught on to it, Thousands of people came out of the woodwork pretending to be social media experts. They actually called themselves this. They put it on their business cards, they put it on their websites, they, they put it everywhere. Social media expert, guru, consultant, uh, whatever you want to call it. And it was kind of a joke and it was annoying, but it wasn't really that serious. Um, most of these guys weren't going to get any traction anyway, and it was just, you know, something that happens. Then after a few months, probably really around the turn of the year, you started seeing some marketing firms, ad agencies, PR firms kind of jump on that bandwagon, and which is understandable as well. I mean, imagine you're an ad agency or a marketing firm, you're watching your billings shrink, and now you find yourself in, um, in, in client meetings in which the client asks you, hey, do you do social? Do you do social media? Can you help me with this? You're not really in a position to say no. So instead of going out and actually reaching out to people who were in social media, a lot of these firms decided to start building their own internal programs without any knowledge, experience, insight into the space. And they've been failing miserably. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to measure it. We've talked about this. But they really don't know how to strategize. They don't know how to implement and they don't know how to execute. It's a whole different animal from traditional media and they just can't wrap their minds around it yet. They will eventually, but they haven't yet. Well, now what I found in, uh, in the last week, and this was on uh, Jeremiah Oyang's blog, and, and I'm putting a link right here at the bottom of the, the video so you can go to it. But Jeremiah last week wrote an article about what's coming essentially in the, last, the next uh, 12 to 18 months uh, in terms of what's going to happen in the social media space and the enterprise space and how the two are going to come together. And essentially, the one thing that really scared me about, uh, about his article, which is spot on, by the way, he's right about everything he, he's, he's predicting, is that large consulting firms, so essentially the big four, really, are already preparing packages that are you know, over a million dollars to sell social media programs um, to their enterprise-based clients. And let's, let's think about that for a second. All right, so these are the big consulting firms that are very archaic, that have been around forever and they're very good with CRM and with ERP and, and with these very heavy type applications and, and strategies and how to implement them and, and, and basically plug them into the enterprise space. Social media, even though it's been around for a long time, is a very, very new discipline. Very few people in the United States and around the world really know how to, number one, use it well, and number two, use it well for business and actually apply it, plug it in, make it work. Um, in the U.S., I would say that there are probably 50 people who really know how to do it, I, pushing it to 100, maybe. Uh, and we know who they are. Many of them are on Twitter. They have blogs. I mean, if you really sit down and write down the list, you could come up with your 50 to 100 people who, whom you would want to hire and whom you would trust doing this stuff. Um, I can think off the top of my head of only two who work for the big four consulting firms. That's it. So what worries me, and, and what I want to get your feedback on, is suddenly we have these, these large consulting firms getting into the, the, the business of social media, because obviously there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of money on the table, but none of them, as far as I can tell, have reached out to any of, of the people who really know how to do this. Certainly haven't reached out to me. I doubt they've reached out to you. So who is building out these programs, these million dollar packages that, that the consulting firms are gonna to sell to these, their unsuspecting enterprise clients? And more importantly, because building out the packages and, and creating the strategy around it, okay, a lot of analysts can actually come together and put something pretty efficient together. But my fear is that who is actually going to implement, who is going to train, and who is going to execute? Nobody. Your guess is as good as mine. None of us in this space are doing this. So who is doing it? some guy working for a consulting firm somewhere who's never had really hands-on experience using social media for a business? I don't know. Right now it's blind. It's just a big consulting firm coming together with a package. So um, my question to you, because this is actually leading to a question, it's just, not just an indictment of, of the social media um, you know, expert, guru, poser uh, mentality. My question is, how do, how do people like us, how do people like you reach out to these consulting firms and say, hey, show us what you've got. Let us help you build something together because if you haven't talked to us, what you're doing is probably wrong. 
and, and more importantly, how do you get them to want to reach out to all of you uh, to get those answers? Because right now there's a huge disconnect, there's a huge wall where the consulting firms are really holding their business very close, uh, very close to their shirt and not letting anybody in. Uh, but I, I think it's, it's to the detriment of their own business and definitely the detriment of their own clients. Um, so how do we get that dialogue going? How do we get them to open their doors so that you guys can have access to their business and that they can have access to your insights? Um, if, if we don't do this, it, it's just not going to work and nobody's going to win. So it's really important that we figure out uh, maybe how to get that done. So I'll open it up to you. Leave me some comments and uh, I look forward to them.